it for more than an hour. <laughs> She's the one I'm after. It's <laughs> just the girl I'm looking for. <laughs> Yeah. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. So guys, basically, we have a lot of random clips to go along with like what we were gonna make this a vlog. The most epic story time ever. Ever. But none of the clips made sense slash like we were so crazed and busy from this travel day that like we didn't get enough to like film, yeah. make it make sense, we couldn't I keep guess. Up. But we didn't want the footage to go to waste and we knew that people were wondering about it because it was all over our Instagram stories. Okay. <laughs> that was really wet and gross. Where do we even start? So basically, guys, we had I don't even want to say the travel day from hell like I look back on it and I'm not like oh my gosh that was so terrible I think made the absolute best of it that we could but basically if you haven't heard tell this is the story of like us traveling home for Christmas and how absolutely insane it was and like what we had to do to get home it includes a canceled flight uber hopping McDonald's at 4 o'clock in the morning not having slept for like 24 hours it includes all of that what we're gonna do is tell you guys all about it but we'll just insert the clips that we do have from from the moments that we did film it within the story. Yes, the first thing that went wrong is we actually weren't late for the airport. Woo! <laughs> probably why it cursed us after. Our flight from Seattle to JFK was actually really good and really smooth. But our ultimate destination was Portland, Maine, where we are right now. No, we don't, we're not in Portland, but that's where the airport is in Maine. So we had a layover in JFK and we yeah. get there and we had probably two hours. We landed at 8.45. And our flight was at 10, 10 something. Yeah, 10.45. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings, we got a drink, we had some dinner and stuff. Really we had some more time to kill. By the time we get out of Buffalo Wild Wings, it's about an hour's past, so it's, mm -hmm. you know, 9.45. We actually see that our flight is delayed until 11.30. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to another bar. And we're just chilling, and we're talking, and then there was another 15 minute delay. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay. We know enough about travel and our, our poor experiences. If it keeps delaying, something's kind of up. Right now, our flight is expected to come in at midnight. And the reason for the delay is because there was a plane coming in from Syracuse that hadn't left that origin yet. Yeah. So basically they just didn't have a plane for us. In about 15 minutes or so we did get word that the plane from Syracuse was in the air coming to us so it was like okay there's actual movement of the plane coming to us. Right. However. What happened was that plane I think got turned around. Literally in the air. It in turned the air, around. It had to go turn around in the air because of weather. The flight from JFK to Maine, where we needed to get to, was canceled. Really, that wouldn't be a big deal. We would get a hotel like in the local area and then just fly out the next morning. Yeah. But the reason why we were coming home on a Friday was because on Saturday morning, we were gonna wake up in Maine, in our family house, where we are now, and drive from Maine all the way down to a family Christmas party. It's not just any family Christmas party. This is family the Christmas. Family. Like This is where my whole family gets together because we all do separate things on Christmas day, depending on who you're married, to or who you go spend Christmas with, which side of the family you do, etc. Like a day before Christmas, a Saturday, and we always get together as a huge family, and that's when everyone can make it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna miss family Christmas. <laughs> they're not even our nieces and nephews. They're they're our cousins. They're our yeah. cousins' kids, but they were so looking forward to seeing us. Like we got texts from their mom, my cousin. She woke up this morning hearing that, like you know, you possibly weren't gonna make it, and she almost started yeah, crying. She's... So, and so, so I was like, we we have to. There's we no choice. It. We have to make it to Family Christmas. So intro the Hallmark movie. The Hallmark movie. We so it's one o'clock in the morning. We get a hotel in Stamford, Connecticut. That was about an hour or so from the airport. Get an Uber to take us there. Totally fine. Like 50 minutes wasn't a bad, wasn't a big deal. We even got him to stop at McDonald's for us because we were awesome. starving. By the time we get our McDonald's and get to the hotel and they locate our reservation, we eat our McDonald's. Feel great. Yeah. Not. <laughs> really. Should have got the chicken selects. I know. I probably should have gotten the chicken selects. It's probably around like 4 a.m. when we lie down to go to sleep. Two to three hours of sleep by the time we have to wake up. Then what we realize is our luggage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> because gosh. we weren't getting on the flight the next morning, our luggage still was. So 
our all of our clothes, all of our presents for family Christmas that we were bringing for our secret Santas were in our luggage. So that was fine. We'll get our luggage later, but we had no change of clothes. But we made a plan to wake up early the next morning to go and to Target and just do a huge like pajamas for us, the makeshift presents, like like replacement Christmas presents for our secret Santas <laughs> that weren't actually Your our clothes, real presents. Clothes, toothbrushes, yeah. like, deodorant. Yeah, like the essentials. Like lotion, the mascara, ladies, am I right? Gentlemen, am I right? <laughs> it's gonna... A bummer. <laughs> you do look... Oh, wow, thanks, Mac. Hey guys. Hey guys. I think literally the only clip that I got yesterday was a really cheery Santa Christmassy thing at the Seattle airport. Now we are in Connecticut. Um, we were supposed to be in Portland, Maine this morning and on our way to a family party right now with our family. <laughs> um, but that didn't work out. So we'll tell you the story a little bit later. What it like our, our travel, like we, I told Jack, I'm like, we always say we should bring a little bag of clothes and toiletries like with us on the plane no matter what and we never do and then we're in these situations all the time we're gonna go to target get replacement christmas presents a change of clothes and possibly some like toiletries and things like that and we'll catch you guys up so now you're wondering so how do we get from stanford after we've gone already for this party get from stanford all the way to rhode island where family christmas was and it's about a three hour drive and so we're like we're looking at our options obviously there's no flight uh our next option was to rent a car um so any car that you could find was going to be super expensive because you couldn't return it until after christmas oh. then the next thing was like oh train like train is totally yeah. possible how expensive could that be well it turns out it can be very expensive especially it was four hundred dollars isn't that insane Much i thought cheaper. it was going to be cheaper and, and then we looked into buses but buses were just really slow which leaves us with our final option uber <laughs> we Ubered, however. Oh, did we ever. So we were naive. We were like, let's just see. Because we knew Mr. Yeah. Beast did a video about this. We yeah. took an Uber from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast or vice versa. I forget what it was. All the way across in one trip, which is insane. Yeah. So I'm like, an Uber will go three hours. Yeah. They have it? to go They'll make, hours. make a ton of bank on that. Instead. Yeah. <laughs> put in. We put in our destination into our first, like, our first attempt at Uber. We yep. were in Stanford, Connecticut. Literally in the entrance of Target. Target. We had our full on luggage, which was just a massive Target bag full of like presents and clothes. <laughs> so we put in our first Uber attempt. Yeah. And the guy comes and he picks us up. His guy pulls up and we get in his car. We, we stuff his trunk full of like our carry-ons that we had, like my you know computer bag, my camera bag, you have all your stream stuff. Like we have a lot of stuff with us is the thing. And so we put everything in the trunk and we get in and he's looking at his phone and all he says, I can't take this trip. He goes, it's, it's not worth it to me to take this trip. Yeah. Okay, he's just not explaining it though. He's just like, I won't take this I trip. I won't take it. And I was like, well, how far will you take us? I don't care. Like, how far will you take us north? And he's like, I won't take it. I'm like, you were the least like helpful person ever. So we get out of the car and then I'm like, I'm really discouraged. Take two, we have all of our bags. We de-board his car and we're like, okay, let's try, was it New Haven? Yes. That was 50 minutes, which was around the time that it took to get from the airport to Stanford the night before. So we get in the car and the guy was kind of hesitant, but he was like, no, I got you, I'll take you. Yeah. So we had a really lovely ride with Hector, with Hector learning about all of his family's past. I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty insightful because like, he lived half of his life in Mexico yeah. and half in the United States. But then like his his mom had cancer, his dad passed away of cancer. It was just like, it was like a lot to take in, but we were like sharing our life stories because yeah, like what else really are you cool. gonna do in the car? It was so very insightful. It was insightful, it was really nice. It was nice to like, like have someone that was at least willing to talk to us. He was gonna drop us off at a rest stop that he knew about. Yeah, because I didn't there. put in a destination. I just said New, New Haven. Haven, just the take exit. us to New Haven. And so he's like, I'll drop you off at a rest stop, it's perfect. Like an Uber can get on the highway, stop at and the rest stop. Going. The rest stop he was thinking of was several exits before New Haven. And so uh, we passed it and we were kind of like, oh, Hector, is that the rest stop like you were thinking of? And he was like, yeah, it was, but you know, it's not what you paid for. Like, I want to take you to where you get paid. Which what, was what nice. You paid for. It was really sweet. Yeah. And he ended up driving an extra like 15 or 20 minutes to like, after yeah. the exit. Yeah, to get us to a good one. Yeah. Which is really nice. Which, and like a major point, which so we stopped in the IKEA in New Haven. Update, you guys. <laughs> I no longer look like anyone. I no longer look as puffy as I used to. We are in our Christmas outfits. We went from Stanford, Connecticut, where we were, again, story coming sometime later, to New Haven, Connecticut, because the Ubers will not take us to Rhode Island, where we need to go for this family party. Our flight had not been canceled. 
we would have been at this family party right now. We'll do anything it takes. We, we are currently waiting for our second Uber. We just took our first one. And then from that one, because we felt like that was also too far, we're gonna hop again. So we're taking an Uber to just as far as we think they'll take us. And then we'll, I think they'll take us the rest of the way if we get a separate Uber. Awesome. Yeah, so we're chilling in Ikea right now. Family, we're coming for you. We're not missing this family party. The other thing is I literally had had just a few bites of like lemon loaf from Starbucks. We were starving. I'm still full from McDonald's. Oh my God, I was so <laughs> hungry. We're like, all right, we've got this. They're Uber hopping. This is how we will get Uber to two. home. We get into the Uber number two and we had put in uh, another third of the way. New London. New London, Connecticut, which would have then been just one more Uber, like one more 50 minute Uber. So it was about 50 minutes to New London. Get in and at first he was super skittish. Like I tried to open his trunk and he goes, don't touch. Don't touch the car, don't don't touch. And I was like, I'm so sorry. It was like kind of standoffish. Found that if people are hesitant at first or like like standoffish, if you just like show them who you are and talk to them, they loosen up and they like realize, no, we're, we're good people. Once he noticed that like we were okay and we we're just like really thankful that he would even take us to New London, he was like, oh, so you're going to New London? And we were like, no, we're actually going to Rhode Island. Like trying to. Trying to. And he was like, well, how far is New London? I was like, it's another hour, so it's two hours tops. He goes, oh. Yeah, change it, change it, I'll take you there. And it was just, I, I couldn't believe it. It was so nice and he like, and we talked and we learned about his family and his religion. Really cool, we had like two hours in the car with someone who was raised and like lives their lives completely differently from us. Like we learned about the Muslim religion, you know, their customs and what they feel about marriage and or, you know, what their beliefs in God or gods are and things and it was just like to hear it and have like a completely open conversation yeah just for educational and like learning about it uh -huh. was so refreshing especially nowadays when people just don't connect or talk about these things anymore you could see the similarities and the differences and stuff yeah. and I think he sensed too that like we were open we were to open talking to about, just it, talk about uh, it which yeah. is really cool he brought us all the way to Rhode Island to the front door of yeah. family Christmas which is really cool and we, we couldn't think of enough I gave him a really big tip <laughs> yeah like there are good people out there a couple of the ubers like they kept saying they were like you know what you're going through today like you're in really high spirits like you know most people wouldn't be and it's just like what else are we gonna do <laughs> you know like like I was just happy that we found a method to get home it's like the train wasn't gonna work our plane was canceled buses probably weren't gonna work the rent a car wasn't going to work and finally we were like we have this last resort and it's working so yeah. let's just keep going but yeah so we got all the way to the family Christmas we got to see the kiddos it was so nice to see everyone we did Secret Santa we gave our replacement gifts and told them that the real gifts were on the way we had epic pillow fights yes. with the kiddos yeah that was so yes, awesome <laughs> Oh. I think we can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't. Yeah. yeah, then the next day we hopped in the car as we planned to do. So we were finally with our family and we were planned to go back from Rhode Island back to me. The secret for more than an hour. <laughs> She's the one I'm after. <laughs> she knocks me off of my feet. I can't. <laughs> so we hopped in the car, the only hiccup is that we had to get our two massive bags yes. that were now in Portland because they got on the flight that day. We had to find a way to fit those in the car. Yep. And that was fun. Fetish Guys, should we leave let's Gabe or should we, or should should we? Let's pretend we don't see him. Lock the door. Hey, wait, where is he? He's right there. Let's try forward. Gabe, we got in the car, we got the bags, we were like, all right, what do we do with Gabe? Sam, what did you say? Hey, who here really likes Gabe? Let's be honest. <laughs> no one moves and Jack goes, kinda like him. I kinda like him. And then we literally <laughs> drove home. And it was awesome. And we were home for Christmas. Exactly. I just wanted to like, cause everyone was asking about it. And I was like, I know it's past Christmas, but it's still like a crazy travel story. And I think there's stuff to get out of it too. No matter what situation you're in, like you could have looked at that. Like this is the worst. My bags aren't here. You know, I, I'm i away from my family. This is so expensive. How am I? And in the end, it was just about getting home to our family. That was it. We were so tired. <laughs> we didn't yeah. care. Like it was, it was fun. And if you just enjoy the ride literally 
the Uber rides on the way. It was a really good day. Like, I yeah. look back on it and I actually enjoyed it. Like what? Yeah. That was like an Eat, Pray, Love episode. Yeah, or like a Hallmark Christmas movie, trying yeah. to get home for Christmas. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys are new here, definitely smash the sub button. You get a notification every single time we post a new video here on the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you guys in our next video. See you later! Bye-bye!